Oh, what's going on, y'all? So I know it's, I've been kind of uploading a good bit here lately. Uh, I've been working on the old, old 7.3, so I figured I'd do some how-to videos of some different stuff. Uh, that way it keeps y'all keep entertained for a while since, you know, we're going to be doing got a couple of the builds that we're working on right now so you know ain't kind of in between there and i'm be um off a little bit here here just shortly uh vacation so finally way overdue but you know whatever so yeah that's coming up here soon so but anyways what we got going today is my key switch now these things ain't all that hard to do it's just the switch let me actually get the new switch right here now i've replaced this uh one i think one other time back been years ago and i, I can't remember what i had done because i ended up no here, I'll, I'll show you see how it has it's just that it kind of looks like you know I, I, I like hot like not hot wired it but like stuck a screwdriver in that thing well yeah so i'm getting it replaced um some of these switches get to the point to where you can start the truck and take the key out and that's that's it's no good so that's what we're going to fix today so you will need not that you know it's not hard at all either a pick like this or a very small screwdriver now, what, all you gotta do is go underneath the steering column in that hole right there, okay? So there's that one where the screw is to take this bottom piece off. And then there's that hole. Now up in that hole is the pin, which I'll show you on the new one. That little pin right there, okay? Because once you stick that pin in and turn it, then it pops out, which, you know, keeps it in place. So in order to be able to get this out you got to push that pin in switch you know should slide right out so let's do that real quick and see what we got all right so we'll try the small pick small pick first we'll see what we get If y'all have the problem that I do, where it doesn't have the black part on the switch, that's where things will get interesting. Because now, when I turn the key, and there's nothing there to hold on to. So, what I'm going to have to do, let's see if I can show y'all that. There's a little nipple right there. All right. I'm gonna try to get a hold of that with pliers and wiggle it around and see if I can get it to pop out. So it should, but y'all that have the black piece on it, all you'd have to do is wiggle it around a little bit and push that little pin in and she should pop right out. So yeah. Let's, let's see what we can do. So I went on and took the bottom cover of the column off just to show y'all. All it is is three screws that holds it on and it just holds right up in there. That That's more like a, a convenience hole to get up in there. But like I say, to, since it's kind of a how-to video, I'm gonna show y'all. So see that? Right there is the ignition switch. And right in there, y'all see that little pin? Right in there is where that has to go and you push in on it and you gotta have the switch at a certain spot and she should pop right out. So grab a pair of pliers and see if we can get this thing out. All right, so I got the pin pushed up in there. She's gotta mess with it a little bit. And like I said, I didn't figure y'all would wanna sit through all that crap. So moment of truth. Y'all, if y'all still have y'all's plastic pieces on the ends, 
should have an issue with this sucker coming out. So, let's try not to. Well, it'll come one of these days. All right, so I ended up getting the switch out. Uh, I ended up using the pick. And as you can tell, the truck is started because you, I just didn't want to have to, you know, unhook the batteries and everything. Um, but if you would have hooked the, uh, unhooked the batteries to get the switch out, it would have been about where it stays at when it started. But there she is. She came out. So, like I say, you you can have the truck just started because it's not going to hurt anything. Um, yeah, I better hurry up because it's, I think it's about to be a big old thunder boomer. So, yeah, I mean, that, and then make sure that that little pin is sticking downward. It's got to line everything up where it goes in the same way. Cylinder cleaned out good. All right, so all you had to do is get the switch in the right position before that nipple goes up all the way up in there. That way you can slide the switch in with ease. If you have to force it in, that's not right. You should be able to take the new switch. See how the nipple, you can't, can't even see it. Slide in, match it up with the grooves. Should be able to slide that sucker right in. Now me, I had to, I took the top cover off and everything because I worked on my gear shifter a little bit. So that's why I didn't, you know, put it all the way in yet because then I had to pop it back out and pull it back out and all that. And just like that. And it works, you know, both ways, backwards, my pillar gauges and everything, auxiliary stuff comes on. And then you turn the key on, key won't come out. So, and yeah, it comes with two new keys and everything. I got mine from my local auto parts store. Um, so, I mean, it's, there's the old one. It was, yeah, it, it was done for. I got the top piece back on, bottom piece screwed back in. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's not hard. It's just, like I say, if <laughs> your switch is broke like mine was, um, sometimes it can be a pain, but I was able to, you know, like you seen, I took a pair, I tried pliers, and then I tried a pick, and pick finally, you know, I stuck it inside the, the key switch, and got, you know, kind of angled it, and was able to get it to come out. Uh, you can do it with the batteries unhooked to where the motor won't start. It's, you know, all, you know, what you want to do, but I just did it, you know, with the batteries hooked up and everything. So, it's, that's pretty much it. Pretty pretty straightforward with it like i said try to upload these how to's for y'all as much as possible you know especially since i was working on my truck get a few things ready so i can't spend a whole whole lot more time on this thing but the the major stuff besides going to the shop to get um the up pipes and that one fuel leak fixed is that's that's pretty much it because so i've been wondering why i have been just this thing's been drinking the fuel she used to not do too bad on it but i was like uh and i found the leak here a while back you know i just couldn't find it and finally you know once i tore into this thing to get it ready i was like okay well we got the old leak fixed thank god so now let's find this fuel leak and uh, my sneaking suspicions was right i was afraid of it but what do you do so i couldn't even get it you know can't really turn it 
to get it tight because of where it's at and it's got to be at a certain angle for the fuel line to hook to so you can see where they had on the like the flange or the up pipe they had grounded it down and then i guess took the bolts loose to move it out of the way to get the fitting on there so I don't know if they didn't get tight enough or what it was. Uh, this was back, shoot, I had the truck maybe a year. Yeah, about, about six months to a year. And I had gotten put the fuel, fuel system and everything on, which kind of wishing I would have just jumped in it and done it myself. But, oh, well, it is what it is. But anyways, so, yeah. May have the other video for the radio of if, if I can get it figured out of what's wrong with it, if anything and one other thing once you get a couple things out of the truck and it's clean and everything ready to go i'm gonna do a probably a video of the floor mats that i done now it's it's nothing crazy nothing fancy i just wanted something because anybody any of y'all goes to the beach knows how it is is even when you go from your house to the store or you know anywhere you're gonna get sand in the truck. And sand is a pain to get out of carpet all the way. So if you got vinyl floors, all right, whatever, you're, you're golden. I don't, I like the carpet ones. I'm gonna be, you know, redoing the floors here soon or the carpet here soon, but until then, yeah. So something to give it a little bit more protection and that way get sand in it, wipe it, or vacuum it out, good to go. So yeah, probably do a video, just a little walk around of that. It took maybe two, three hours max to, you know, all together because I had to kind of split it up in, you know, in between times to do it. But, yeah, so I'll probably do a quick walk around of that, too. So, like I say, not hard to do. Just a little bit of time. As long as you got that top plastic piece on, it's relatively easy. But, of course, me, had to be the hard way. But we got it. It works. It, it don't come out. So, we're good to go. But... That's pretty much it for right now. Like I say, I'll be doing more videos of the builds and the black dually, the white super duty and whatnot. And hopefully the jewel piece here once we get back from vacation. So until then, y'all, y'all take it easy. See ya.